What is up guys, this is Space Kryptonite, here to bring you a tool that can help you build to your heart's desire. This app is very handy dandy and has some quality of life features you will enjoy. Ladies and gents, we will be going in depth with RoboCrash, created by Bronze Johnson. So what is RoboCrash and what can it provide to you as a RoboCrafter? As a disclaimer, Bronze Johnson does not work for FreeGM, meaning this app is not an official RoboCraft app. Since this app is free, FreeGM has given the approval to keep working on this project and will remain a desktop application. RoboCrash is an external garage bay for RoboCrafters to build. There are a variety of chassis parts so you can build bots that you have in RoboCraft. Although there's no direct compatibility, there are extra features such as damage simulations and customized stats on blocks. It's like taking your robot out to the firing range. The creator, Bronze Johnson, started building RoboCrash over the week of his spring break, in which came the result of his first build. He has never worked with Unity or C Sharp extensively before, so he had a little flexing of his tiny muscles. He proceeded the project by creating a list of major features and wanted to challenge himself. Bronze wanted to create RoboCrash because he knew it was something he was motivated to do. The RoboCraft community had often inquired over more garage functionality in RoboCraft, so Bronze went ahead with this project. Bronze has been around the Reddit community for about a year, with 1,000 hours of RoboCraft under his belt, and believed that RoboCrash would be something a lot of players would appreciate. The first release of the app was revealed, and received very positive feedback which inspired Bronze to sink more into the development. Now that you have an idea on the groundworks of RoboCrash, let's dive into on the application and give you a quick rundown on how it works. A lot of functions are the same as RoboCraft, such as moving, placing, removing, and copying cubes. Pressing tab will bring up the UI that contains a lot of features, such as the inventory, mirror mode, center of mass, save, and load garage bay. Another feature that can be used in this app is the undo and redo feature for those accidental clicks. You can literally build anything you desire, there is no CPU limit, even a megabot if you feel the need to bring back some old memories. The damage simulation can be done with a variety of weapons and even customized stats, making it useful to test out triforcing which shows how damage will travel through the point of impact. There are some other extra features in this app, but I will let you explore the rest. The future of RoboCrash is hoping to reach the point where top tier designs pass through it. It is a tool that can become a common place for RoboCrafters to gain knowledge and understand build designs. This is not to say RoboCrash is overshadowing RoboCraft, it is a side app that contains quality of life features in which some have yet to be implemented in RoboCraft. The link for RoboCrash will be in the description down below. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I want to thank Bronze Johnson for providing the information and for creating this awesome app which will definitely benefit you. As for questions, let me know what you think about RoboCrash in the comment section down below. And also feel free to suggest some features and fixes if you find any. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your robo needs. And until next time, this is Space Crypt the Night. Log in out. I will catch you guys later.